If you ever tried to reset a service interval on a Volkswagen or an Audi and you perform the procedure and still didn't work, maybe the service light's still on? Well, Volkswagen and Audi have this thing called a flexible service reset. You actually have to go in a little bit deeper, change some numbers in the computer. So we can actually do that. Snap-on's got a really easy way to do it. Let's show you. All right, so all this takes place in the instrument cluster. So I'm going to go in there. It's going to have to figure out what ECU it's got. So we're going to do a little bit of identification. Then over here, it's called service reset functions. We'll just click on that. It's going to collect all the information. Now, the usual way to do that and just do the regular reset is just this first one. It says reset SIR. But if we have to go in a little deeper and change some values, we can go in and pick one of these different menus here. So we have days and mileage. So let's do mileage. And it'll give you the current value. This one's set at zero. So if I'll just click edit and pull up my keyboard. And 14200, let's say. Hit OK. It's going to confirm the value. Hit OK again. And it is coded. That's also going to give you a reading what the original was, what you set it to, and what it's now currently reading just to confirm. So just hit OK again, and we're done. Pretty quick and easy way to get through there. If you ever have trouble doing that service reset and you just can't get seem to get that light out, give this a shot, and that should help you out.